The question I'm going to answer here is, do these slots on the spoiler add to performance of the car? The cars that have this addition are sports models, such as the Ford Focus ST, Fiesta ST, among others, which suggests it does. It could also be seen that there are very few models that have this modification, meaning that there isn't a benefit, unlike all hatchbacks having spoilers, which reduces drag and lift. To answer this question, I'll be testing two model configurations of a generic hatchback model of a Suzuki GTI in CFD. Two base cases from the previous simulations are used to generate the deltas or differences, because remembering CFD is a postdictive, not a predictive process. The first is the model with the rear bumper section removed, and the second is with the addition of the gurney flap on the spoiler. Removing the rear bumper section was seen to allow more air to pass underneath the car, lowering the drag and lift. Adding the gurney flap stops air accelerating off the roof, in addition to making the wake larger, mostly reducing lift. The first case corresponds to the bumper section removed, and the delta is a result of the addition of the slot. The second, a delta can be taken from the previous case, as well as the version without the slot. This flyaround shows the base case and the first case model with the resultant pressure map on their surfaces. The roof in front of the slots has more blue indicating lower pressure and therefore produces lift, likely the reason for the positive delta, particularly at the rear. Taking a slice view of the center line with the total pressure map shows high energy free streams and the wake behind the car. The result from the first case has exactly the same drag as the base, but there is more lift so it doesn't seem like this slot has a performance benefit at first glance. This pressure map shows the low pressure field above the roof. Adding the LIC graphic to the total pressure map indicates flow direction. The wake structure has changed with another pocket of rotating air above the window. Now from behind, the volume on the rear window is a bit messy, with a change in direction of the air from up under the car to an off-center river from the roof. Another fly around but with the streamlines shows that the slotted spoiler disrupts the air in the wake, making it a little bit more messy. In doing the same for the second case with the addition of the gurney flap increases the pressure on the roof, but mainly on the spoiler. The rear window has now far more low pressure area, which will increase both lift and drag. The total pressure slice doesn't show a large difference. Drag increased by 5%, but the lift delta is similar to before. The pressure map shows the low pressure field shifted to be more attached to the rear window as indicated by the 3D fly around. Again adding the LIC graphic shows that the additional volume of the rotating air has expanded substantially from the previous cases, and now occupies almost all the area of the rear window. From behind, the rear view of air from off the roof is now broader and far more structured. Despite this modification only appearing on the performance models, it doesn't appear to be contributing to performance. Having a closer look at the rear of the cars that have slotted spoilers, we can use the results seen here to gain an inference as to the actual function of the slots. First, the Focus ST. The spoiler follows the roofline and is surrounded by higher geometry at the edge, middle, and behind the slot. From underneath, there's a little bit of spoiler above the window but it is mostly flush with the glass anyway. On the model, the gurney flap creates a high pressure section behind the slot that increases the amount of air that passes through the gap behind the rear window. On the focus, the geometry behind the slot is larger and that would create increased pressure on these highlighted red surfaces. The blue would tend to draw air off the roof and into the slots. Adding streamlines to the slot shows the how the air is being drawn across the rear window in a manner expected by the focus rear spoiler. So what is the purpose of these slots in the spoilers on these apparent performance cars? Specifically here, aesthetics. I mean, they look performancey. I mean, that's why I tested it, and I fell for it. The larger wings on other hatchbacks with larger gaps are more likely to add performance, but not here. What is most likely their function is that they're a low-cost version of the reason why the rear window has a wiper, to clean the window. A study I found from a paper shows that these slots direct air down from off the roof, reducing the build-up of snow on the rear window. Living in Australia, I don't know what that is. I'm guessing it's like dust, but white. The images from this study nicely correlate with the simulation run here. So the answer to the question, do these speed holes work? Short answer, no. 
They are an aesthetic use of a method to help reduce buildup on the rear window. They don't cost a lot of performance, but they don't add anything to it.